Common causes of phone overheating during FaceTime. Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the common causes of phone overheating during FaceTime. FaceTime is a popular video calling app used by millions of people worldwide, but sometimes it can lead to overheating issues on our phones. So let's dive in and find out what might be causing this problem. Excessive processor usage. One common cause of phone overheating during FaceTime is excessive processor usage. When we use FaceTime, our phones have to work hard to process the audio and video data in real time. This can put a heavy load on the processor, causing it to generate more heat than usual. The more intensive the call, such as using video effects or high-resolution video, the more strain it puts on the processor and the higher the chances of overheating. Poor ventilation and airflow. Another factor that can contribute to phone overheating during FaceTime is poor ventilation and airflow. Many of us tend to use FaceTime while holding our phones in our hands or placing them on surfaces that can block the airflow. When the phone's ventilation is restricted, it becomes difficult for the heat generated by the processor to dissipate. This can result in the phone getting excessively hot during a FaceTime call. Battery Intensive Features some FaceTime features can be quite battery intensive, which in turn can lead to overheating. For example, using the front-facing camera with the screen brightness turned up or using FaceTime for an extended period can cause the battery to drain rapidly. When the battery is under heavy usage, it can generate more heat, increasing the risk of overheating. So, keep an eye on battery intensive features while using FaceTime. Environmental Factors Environmental factors can also play a role in phone overheating during FaceTime. For instance, if you are in a hot and sunny location, exposing your phone to direct sunlight can significantly increase its temperature. High ambient temperatures combined with the heat generated by FaceTime usage can push your phone's temperature to dangerous levels. Similarly, using FaceTime in a poorly ventilated room with no air conditioning can contribute to overheating as well. Software and hardware issues. Lastly, software and hardware issues can also be responsible for phone overheating during FaceTime. Outdated software or app glitches can cause excessive processor usage or inefficient power management, leading to increased heat generation. Additionally, hardware problems like a faulty battery or a malfunctioning temperature sensor can contribute to overheating. It's essential to keep your software updated and regularly check for any hardware issues that might be causing the problem. That's all for today's video on the common causes of phone overheating during FaceTime. Remember, excessive processor usage, poor ventilation, battery-intensive features, environmental factors, and software hardware issues can all contribute to this problem. By understanding these causes, you can take steps to mitigate the risk of overheating and ensure a smoother FaceTime experience. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.